An impeachment motion against Deputy President Rigathi Gachagua has been officially tabled in Parliament, signaling the start of the impeachment process. The motion, introduced by Kibwezi West Member of Parliament Mwengi Mutise, accuses Gachagua of over 10 violations, including breaches of the Constitution, corruption and incitement, marking the beginning of a long journey for Deputy President Rigathi Gachagua. Dennis Mwenye opens our bulletin tonight with that report. Number, number 134. Number 134. The dice has now been cast for the impeachment trial of Deputy President Rigadi Gachagua with Kibwezi West Member of Parliament Mwengi Mutuse officially tabling the impeachment motion against Gashagwa, citing 11 grounds for his removal. A total, a total, Mr. Speaker, a total of 291 members of this National Assembly have graciously appended their signatures in support of this motion. Two Kashagwa is accused of gross violations of the constitution, promoting ethnic discrimination and undermining national unity through divisive public statement, contradicting government policies and failing to uphold his duties as deputy president, particularly in relation to collective cabinet responsibility. In addition to constitution violations, the motion accuses Gashagwa of engaging in corruption, money laundering and abuse of office, thereby violating anti-corruption laws. His Excellency Rigathi Gashagwa has violated, has grossly violated Articles 10 to 1A, 1, 10 to B and C, Articles 27-4, Articles 73-1A, and 2B, Article 75, 1C, and Article 129, Sub Article 2 of the Constitution of Kenya. The Deputy President is also accused of making false and malicious statements which breach both the Penal Code and the Leadership and Integrity Act. The motion further cites gross misconduct, including reckless attacks on the National Intelligence Service in subordination to the President, bullying public officers and involvement in corrupt practices. Of the Deputy President has been threatening public officials. The person of the Deputy President has carried himself in a manner that brings disrespect to the office that he holds and therefore has grossly misconducted himself. Has committed offense, the offense of gross misconduct in the manner of insubordination, insubordinating the presidency and the Kenyan state. The legislatures are now geared towards debate to determine Gashagwa's fate. For the motion to pass at the National Assembly, it must be supported by two-thirds of the House, which is 233 MPs or more. After sailing through the National Assembly, the motion makes its way to the Senate, where it will involve hearing by the Senate Plenary or Special Committee. Nevertheless, for the impeachment to be successful in the Senate, two-thirds of the Senators should be in support. Dennis Munyi, KUTV.